standing out in a cornfield here today. Um, the grower asked me to come out and take a look at a problem. He thought he was having a problem. Uh, we have a corn leaf aphids. Um, it's a very distinguishable bug. It's got a kind of a blue green body with kind of a black outline to it. Uh, typically you find them out up in the whirl. We usually scout for these things starting uh, right before tasseling, a couple weeks before tasseling, and that's generally where they stay. Once tasseling is complete though, they have a tendency to move down in the canopy into the plants. Um, and you can see them, they're all over the husk here. These leaves are heavily covered with corn leaf aphid. A uh, big question you're gonna get is do these things actually cause a lot of yield loss? Realistically, we don't have a ton of data on it. Um, when you're talking about early season, especially when the tassels are first coming out, you like to say if you find 30 to 100 uh, corn leaf aphid colonies, it's probably time to treat. Um, knowing that these things are sap suckers, what they're going to do is continuously pull nutrients and moisture out of these, out of the husks, out of the leaves. Eventually, they will kill this leaf if the colonies actually do get uh, heavy enough. You can actually see some damage going on here. Um, a fair number of aphids. The other thing that they, they like to do is cause this black mold, this sooty mold. It's kind of a dew that comes out of their bodies. You can see running across the leaf here is an ant. Ants tend to like to suck on that stuff, on the uh, dew. So uh, typically, again, this isn't going to cause a huge problem. Um, if you do start to see leaf death, if you do start to see the plant starting to brown up a little bit, it might be worth taking a shot of some insecticide out here if you haven't done so already. Typically early season, uh, these things are mostly controlled by, by the, uh, the lace wings and the other natural predators are out here. However, this plot, this field was actually sprayed with insecticide and a fungicide right after tasseling. So we can see that the natural predators are gone. And this is why this problem is beginning to appear. The natural predators are gone. Again, this is probably not a field that I would treat unless the plants were getting fairly burned up. You can see there's a pocket in here where it looks fairly bad. The bulk of this field isn't bad. So my recommendation at this point would be probably not to spray, but it's definitely something we want to watch out for in the future years. That concludes this Pioneer Growing Point Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.